Hey, y'all. Hey, life is always, always, always a balancing act. I'm in a circus right now. Just balancing a little bit of this, balancing a little bit of that. So today what we're balancing is sitting here and making a video while we still have some sunlight. It's like 6 p.m. right now. So we still have a little bit of sunlight. So let's talk. In this video, we're going to talk about the, what are we talking about? Money goals, money goals. The money goals that I made this week in hopes that they can inspire you to make some money goals too. What I'm noticing and what I'm seeing is that we train our lives and what we want. We attract what we think about. What we think about, we attract. So what we're doing now is we're attracting money wins into our lives. We're attracting money success. We're attracting money. We're attracting great money moves. We're just attracting these things by making them come more to the forefront of our thinking and the forefront of our thoughts, okay? So in this video, we have six that we're going to share it this week. Um, are they all wins? I don't know. Let's talk about it. And right now, like I'm in the parking lot of a store. That's one of the money moves. Okay, y'all. So I have six money moves. And one of the money moves y'all already know about. We actually did a grocery list and we gave ourselves a $100 food budget for the week. I learned some awesome lessons about that. That is a standalone video by itself. Either it's going to be out now or it's going to be out after this. I don't even know. But, um, but yeah. So what I really liked about doing the $100 food challenge is in the challenge, even if you choose not to do challenges on a routine basis, but I always believe that we can learn something about our financial habits and about our lifestyle through the lens of the challenge. And so with doing this $100 challenge, what I learned is going to the grocery store, going grocery shopping isn't always the best thing for me. Um, sometimes I feel like I waste more money doing that because I don't always eat the food that I buy in a timely manner. Therefore, the food goes bad. For me, I feel like it's more effective if I shop as needed when I Think of what I want to make in a meal. For some people, that's a waste of time because they don't want to go back and forth to a grocery store. But because I am a person of one and I'm just feeding myself, that is what is actually best for me in my lifestyle. All right, guys, I just went to my P.O. box and how cool is this? Martha sent me a card. Martha, subscriber. Hey, boo. Hey, fab family member. She sent me a card thanking me for the grocery challenge. Boom, boom, boom. There's the words. I don't want to read everything on camera, but, but basic. But basically, the first lines to the card is, thank you for the grocery challenge. Yay! She says she's hitting the ingredient aisle at her local food co-op. So dope. And what I like, like I said, y'all, we are an accountability tribe. So what I like is not that we all have to do things the same way, but I like that we are all challenging ourselves to think of better ways that we could do our lives and better ways that we can do our money. That's what this is all about. That is what this is all about. We are winning together, y'all. We winning with our money. Okay, y'all. Just wanted to share that. Thank you again, Martha. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for being on this channel. I appreciate your comments, your feedback, all of it. Thanks. The next move, I actually received a $210 credit for travel through one of my credit cards. One of my credit cards, actually, City Prestige, reimburses up to, oh gosh, how much do they reimburse? Maybe it's $250. Yeah, I'm thinking it's $250 that they reimburse um, in travel per year. And the travel can be on anything. It could be on airline tickets. It can be on incidentals. And what I like about that is that most credit cards come with a reimbursement for travel incidentals, like baggage fees, like if you buy food on a plane, like if you upgrade your seat, things like that. What I really appreciate about City Prestige is that they will actually reimburse you up to $250 per year, even for a plane ticket. So what does that mean? That means that you can actually travel for free with that card. Love it. 
Okay, this video is in the car and the rest of this video will continue to be in the car, but I want to take a break and show you this because I'm about to return it. And so that is the next money move. Return your things. I don't care how much they cost or how little they cost, okay? And so what we will be returning today is a tray of popsicle sticks. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this, but check it out. <laughs> This right here, these are two trays. I don't know, I had an idea. I was gonna use them almost like as big oversized coasters. Cause you know, coasters can be so small, but I was like, hey, if we have more surface for a coaster, isn't that more convenient than trying to sit your glass on a little thing? Well, nah, this ain't really quite working out the way I envisioned it. So I am going to return these. And these were only $10 at HomeSense. So $10 getting returned. The next money move is I actually got my broker, my brokerage accounts straightened out. I mentioned in another video how I opened up a brokerage account, but I checked some of the wrong boxes and I deposited $2,000 in the account that I checked the wrong boxes. So therefore I had to open another account and put $1,000 in that account. And the money move that I made this week is I actually was able to transfer that $2,000 to the $1,000 account and therefore have that account start off with $3,000. So happy about that and that I got that straightened out. The next thing I got to do is just close that first account that I messed up. But the great thing is there are no fees attached to these accounts. So that is super awesome. The next money thing that happened, I don't even know if I'm going to call it a money move, but the next money thing that happened is actually a money mistake, is I double paid my HOA fees. I paid one on the first of the month to the tune of $105, and then another one came out on the 16th of the month for $105. I do have automatic payment, and this is another reason why sometimes I don't like automatic payment, but I know exactly what happened. When I went in there to update my um, HOA amount that I was paying because it went up for the year, the day that I went in and fixed my amount that I wanted to pay, they actually turned that into this is the payment date. So even though I had just paid a payment at the first of the month, they're like, oh, it's the 16th of the month. It's time for her to pay again. So I need to fix that. I need to go in and fix that. So that was a money mistake, but we're going to try to fix it so that it covers my March payment and I don't double pay in March. So let's just hope that March is prepaid and that there's an easy way to like stop my auto payment and then resume my auto, auto payment for April. And then the final money move, money move six, is dun, 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 I sold a bedroom for the summer season. And that money was already paid to me for the deposit on that room. Super excited about that. For those of you who don't know, I do house hack my home. And what that simply means is that I rent out bedrooms. I take on roommates throughout the year and that actually helps offset the expenses of the house. So I super love that and I only rent out the student interns. That's why we don't have people in there throughout the year, which I prefer because it kind of gives you a break. You have these moments where you have the house free and clear to yourself and then you have other moments where you're actually bringing in extra income and that always feels fun. And then you also have some more life and company inside of the home and so I'm excited about that we have a returning guest she has been with me before and so she'll be coming back so that is super dope and that is it guys that is all I have the sun is going down I'm gonna get in the store and I'm gonna make this return I will talk to y'all in the next video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe if you want to be a member of the fun and budget family and talk to me in the comments below. Tell me about your awesome money moves. We are learning so much from each other. And I'm so excited. I so appreciate you guys. Okay, y'all. Until the next video. Peace.